Recently, the Don and I had the opportunity to continue our conversation with bassist Rudy Sarzo, who shared with us his perspective of one of the driving forces that would lead to the cancellation of hair bands in the 1990s. The the changeover musically and, and uh, mainly with MTV, because MTV became the de facto machine to market and promote new and old bands, older meaning bands that you know, they had already two or three records out and the new ones. So they were trying to like now balance it out a little bit. So what happened was the uh, AIDS epidemic happened towards the end. Yeah, I mean, it, it happened in, during the 80s, but towards the end is where the epidemic started, you know, it got out of control, basically. So, you know, MTV was in a campaign to to have uh, their viewers, the young viewers, the, te- the teens abstain from sex. But then again, the ad will be followed by some video vixen (laughs) in the video because that was pretty much the mainstay of uh, of the MTV uh, videos back then. And I probably think from experience, Whitesnake, you had Tony Catain. Exactly. Exactly. Bobby Bobby Brown and Warren, you know. Yeah. You know, you you know, my wife was a video vixen before I joined Whitesnake. She's the. uh, Yeah, she's in the loving no stranger. She's the, the tattooed, they have a snake on her cleavage. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that was the major shift. What happened was uh, this uh, MTV started playing videos. If you had a gu- electric guitar, you know, if you were a rock band, no women, no vixens, no video vixens in it. Okay, that's fine. Because it really would not have gone with the music, anyways. <laughs> you know, the imagery of the lyrics going along with the video. But if you were against the rap, yeah, go ahead. There's no guitars in there, so go ahead. So that's when the youth of America across the board started to like say, "Wait a minute, what's this gangster rap with all these hot, hot women?" <laughs> and one, well, they got like, "Wow, fast cars and they're badasses." So that became like the what the youth of America in the 90s started following. You know, yes, they were listening to grunge, but also if they had a different desire, they would like watch the uh, the gangster rap videos. Well, now that you've gotten to hear Rudy's experience, being that uh, he was there behind the scenes, does it add a little bit more context to your experience from that period? Be sure to follow me or FM 2.0 for more excerpts from our conversation.